very important is to get a very good grip on it find a nice grip and put your other hand on top you see we got it in half and you can do that the same thing in four pieces all right here's another way to break an apple with your hands just stick your thumb up on there and smash it it's not too easy but those are the hardest apples to break all right there is another way to break it you see it's normal apple just put your finger like that sideways and slap a couple times and it breaks in half so we're gonna put accent on this cup real quick i'm gonna put a lot all right i think that would be enough and then we're gonna put the styrofoam in the art stone. Isn't it awesome? Get your sister a coat or something with a fur, rub it up and just point it at you guys. And you see how they jump up and fly? So drop your cube in the water and then put your needle on top of a cube. Okay, then put some salt and then lift it up. Isn't it cool guys? So, right, put a card on top of your finger and then put a coin on top of a card. And then the trick is to flick it. So first we're gonna get our knife and make a hole like that and then we're gonna take our coin and stick it in there like halfway and second you're gonna stick a nail on the other side like that as you can see we're gonna do it on every lemon Then we're gonna plug it up to every lemon, pretty much you need to plug it up to the nail and then to the coin. Same thing here. Alright, as you can see we got all this four plugged up. You see this first one to the nail to the coin, from the nail to the coin, from the nail to the coin. And then same thing, we're gonna plug it up here to the coin and to the nail and let them loose the ends. And then, then we're gonna grab our LED light. So and then we're gonna connect this LED to the lemons. You see it light up. Okay. Alright, grab two of your needles like that, put them together, then grab your magnet and magnify them. Like do it a bunch of times. Turn them over and magnify the other side. Let's test it out. I'm gonna leave this one alone and then I'm gonna push it with this one. See what happens? What if you get on the other side? Still pushing, but if you put it upside down, let's see what happens. They get together. Oh, and so, uh, for the hot water, we're gonna get uh, red, you know? It's pretty good. Call them red. And for the cold water, blue. Stir it up real quick. Alright, I'm gonna be using this plastic thing to, to hold this like that so water will come out. And first, I'm gonna put cold one on top, on top of a uh, hot one. Hopefully, I'm not gonna spill anything. Slide off. Alright, this is good. Now I'm gonna pull this thing out. Pull, put the the plastic out. Do you see guys what happening? The colors have changed. Now it's kinda purple. 
because the colors have mixed together you see that guys so now let's move this one on side over here and now let's put the hot one on top of the cold one and we'll see what happens all right we got the same same way we're gonna do this one put on top of it on top of the glass match it gonna pull out the plastic plastic bag and see what happens you guys see the difference between these two so do you guys see the difference between these two glasses why this one is mixed up and kind of purple color now and this one is still blue and red so, so we're gonna make a hole one on the top one in the middle and one in the bottle and then we're gonna open open the bottle alright the question alright the question is why does the water leak out only from bottom but not from these two even if I make another hole you see why does it leak out this one is going far and this one comes like a little bit like you know 